In Exodus chapter 2, we have the story, we have the record of the birth of one of God's greatest deliverers. Uh, it's the birth of Moses. There had been an edict from the Pharaoh that because the Israelites were multiplying so fast, they feared they would take over their land. So they were going to kill the firstborn male Hebrew of every family. Well, Moses' parents decided they would hide their child. They'd disobey the government, so to speak. And they took him down to the Nile River one day because I believe they knew that Pharaoh's daughter would be there bathing and she was childless. And it says this, listen to what it says. Then the daughter of Pharaoh came down to bathe at the river and her maidens walked along the river. And when she saw the ark among the reeds, this little kind of basket that they built for Moses, his parents and put him there, that she sent her maid to get it. And when she opened it, she saw the child and behold, the baby wept. And she had compassion on him and said, this is one of the Hebrews. And she kept the child for herself. And Moses ends up growing up in the home of Pharaoh. And he becomes a powerful leader. He becomes a powerful voice. And this story in chapter two is not only his birth, but also when he realizes who he is. He's a Hebrew and he, and he grows into a man and he tries to stop the Israelites from oppressing his people and he finds himself fleeing into the desert. The book of Exodus moves fast from birth, chapter two, to Moses as a man fleeing into the wilderness. And God is doing something in the life of Moses that's powerful. He saved him. He protected him, and then he sends him out into the wilderness to make him into the deliverer that God wants him to be. So sometimes God will send you out to a barren place, to a difficult place, and then send you back a different person altogether. This is the story of Moses, his birth, and then his, really his, his fleeing into the desert. Chapter two, powerful, powerful story of God's hand upon a young man who becomes one of the greatest names in all of the Old Testament, Moses, the great deliverer of Israel.